Hello, my fellow Pisces. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right to your reading. Pisces, that was a lot better snap than that first one. Did you hear that first one? That was a, a sorry excuse for a snap. <laughs> but anyway, if you are here, you're meant to be. Let's see, who am I connecting with today? What do you need to know? What do you need to hear? Let's get into it. First card, what do we got? We have soil, stability, simplicity. You know what? Maybe it's time to get back to the basics, Pisces. Maybe it's time to get back to you, okay? Maybe you've lost yourself somewhere along the way. I mean, it happens sometimes. It's cool. It's fine. But at some point, you've got to take some time to get back to you. Get back to the basics. What is it that truly makes you happy? What is it that you really like, enjoy? Some people, you know what's funny? Some people don't even know what they like. You know, I've been there. It's like you lose yourself and you, you don't even know what you like or what you want. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to sit down and, you know, think about it. What is it that I like? What is it that I want? You know? Okay, so on the bottom here, we do have butterfly, transformation, joy, beauty, transience. All right. All about transformation. You know, the transformation comes from you sitting back, relaxing, getting back in touch with yourself. What is it that I really want in life? Am I chasing after someone else's dream or, my, or am I chasing after my dream? Okay, so maybe somebody here needs to ask themselves that. And my eye is still twitching, by the way. I don't know. Uh, I think I mentioned it like a week ago in one of my readings. It's, it hasn't been doing it nonstop, but just here and there. Should I worry? <laughs> Should I seek medical help? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is it like a, a vitamin deficiency? Anyway, enough about my eye. <laughs> I just, I get a little uh, self-conscious with it, so I'm, obviously I'm on camera, and if anyone's like looking at my eyes, just vibrating, it, it might freak somebody else out. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Let's get an angel number. We have 606, connect. Connect with yourself, you know, maybe. Okay, so 606, connect. Relationships, soul's mission. What, 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 what was I just saying? <laughs> You got me stuttering now, okay? Endless love, friendship, mutual growth. Spend time with those you care about, including yourself. You should care about you. Focusing on having positive, loving conversations. You know, even a conversation with yourself. The theme of this number is the importance of striking a balance between solitude and community. It could be a sign of a partner to come for those who are single. Perhaps it's a call to love unconditionally, both yourself and and others there we go getting back to the basics you know maybe you know maybe there's some people in your life that you haven't connected to in a while okay maybe this is a sign for you to reach out to them you know and again that could be you you know i keep getting the feeling that it's time to you know ground yourself get back to the basics get back to who you are get back to home <laughs> you know you know it's funny i say that get back home maybe somebody here needs to pay a visit to their hometown and reconnect with somebody you know random message there we do have big money at the bottom, 2828. So, I mean, that's something. Wealth, empathy, promises, commitment, affection, inner strength, auspicious outcomes. Okay. All right, so let's look at some details here. Nope. So connect. It's kind of hard handling these round decks. It's like my hands are so used to rectangle decks. <laughs> and I'm saying deck. <laughs> so key, we have successful outcome to your problems. Okay. Successful outcome to your problems, which could come from getting back in touch with yourself. We have ladder, climbing towards success. Successful, success. Okay. We have June. June might mean something to someone. Maybe this is, you know, when the ball started ro rolling for this energy back in June. This could, you know, be success that happens next June. Maybe, maybe somebody's birthday is in June. Okay, so whatever that means for you. You know, the last time I pulled one of these cards and it had, it said February is my last, or no, the, the Pisces reading before this one, but it was Friday the 13th. So yeah, it was a week ago. 
because I had Happy Friday the 13th on my board and somebody wrote in the comments was like, she's only mentioning February, even though I pulled the February card. <laughs> and they were like, she's only mentioning February because this was recorded back in January of uh, Friday the 13th. It's like, I even mentioned that it was September later in the reading. And I was just sitting there like, does this person really think I pre-record my videos nine months in advance? Like, I wish I was that organized. Like, fuck. <laughs> okay, so Rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Mountain. Major challenge to overcome. So it could have something to do with this Rooster character. And I'll get one more of these. We have Broom. New home, new attitude. You know, this is one of the cards that I pulled for you in a recent reading, so it makes me go back to what I said. You know, this could uh, be similar energy to those past readings that I've done, where, you know, Pisces Collective, maybe you're entering some new phase in your life, some major changes, you know, at, at least a crossroads where you have the potential to make these uh, major changes. I think it starts with reconnecting with yourself, grounding yourself, looking within, Figuring out where you want your life to go from here. Because like I said, all too often, you know, it's crazy how much or how often people may not even know who they even are, what they even like, you know, things like that. Where they want to go in life, what they want in life. It's time for somebody here to reconnect with yourself, what it is you truly want, what is really aligned with your soul. And that's where the the success comes in. That's where the changes come in. That's where the new home, new attitude comes in. I mean, it may not even be an actual home, but it could be, you know, a new attitude, new you, a new view on life, a new a new purpose in life, a new way of, you know, going about life, you know, feeling more confident about where you're headed. All right. So I feel like I'm kind of rambling a lot in this reading. Must be something in the energy. Or maybe I had too much caffeine today. I don't know. <laughs> um, so. Let's look at. I kind of want to look at June. Like why is June here? Oh, well. Seven of Cups. We have the Sun. So I don't know if something, you know, this could have been some kind of energetic shift that happened back in June for you. And it seems like, you know, for a lot of you here, this energetic shift has kind of led you to some kind of crossroads. All right. Some kind of decision you need to make in life that may uh, take you to some obstacles here. You know, we might have to confront some arrogant people, some, you know, toxic situations. You might have to cut these things out, but look at where it's leading you. You know, this is why you need to reevaluate. Is this, you know, is this actually somebody that you want in your life? Is this actually, you know, 10 years from now, do you see yourself being happy in this situation still? I think right now the energy is asking you to like, hey, get clear on what you want. You know, seven of cups, overwhelm, overthinking, confusion. Get clear on what you want. And I don't know what happened in June. Like I said, it could have been something energetic, you know. You know, this is something I've picked up in a lot of my Pisces readings since I've started my channel. There's just something happening in the energy that's really in Pisces' favor. You know, whatever it is you're, you're wanting, you really need to get clear on that and set a path. You know, cut some things out, but that is what's going to lead you to your success, okay? And now my eye's twitching like crazy again. It seems to only happen whenever I'm doing my readings. Is that is that somehow connected to the energy in the readings or something. I have no idea. My 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 mind is like energetic overload. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but yeah, it's time to get clear on what you want. There will be some obstacles to overcome though. Obviously it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. You know, it could be people. It could just be, you know, major challenges, you know, whatever that might be for you. Financial, a job, um, moving, you know, anything. But now is the time to get clear on what you want. Like I was saying, something in the energy is really in Pisces' favor. I don't know how long it's going to last. I mean, maybe an astrologer can tell you. Uh, and maybe it's different on an individual basis. Um, but I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, my email is in the description box. But um, 
yeah, get clear on what you want, go for it. Because I feel like if you're not clear on what it is that you're wanting, if you're not like centering yourself, looking within and reevaluating where you're going, you're like where you've been and where you want to go. If you're not clear on that, you can miss out on this energy. I just, I get that vibe. You know, it, it might seem unfair, but whoever I'm connecting with, you're just, you're really being called to do this, to look within, to do this work. I mean, you can make this decision at any point in your life, but because, like I said, this energy, I don't know what's going on. If you really use this to your advantage, you could get farther ahead. All right, so let's look at key and ladder. Successful outcome to your problems, climbing towards success. Actually, should I look at the, the conflict here first and, and then the successful outcome? Yeah, let's look at what this conflict is. We have the tower. Feeling like some things are not in your control. We have the queen of swords. We have the star. Aquarius energy. So, um, again, I go back, didn't I say this in a recent reading too? It's almost as if you're getting kicked out of a cycle to be more aligned with your destiny and who you are. Everything in this energy, and, and I, maybe I sound a little woo-woo, a little out there or whatever, but there's just something in the energy that's in Pisces favor and it's, it's kicking you out of something so that you can climb toward a higher path, a, pi a path that's more aligned to you, your higher purpose, what you're supposed to be doing in this life. And for some of you, you maybe you're just kind of lingering in a, a certain cycle for far too long and the universe might come in and like kick you out of that, <laughs> you know, and it might be a little uncomfortable. That could be where, you know, the major challenge to go to overcome comes in. Because it might feel like a mountain, you know, having to climb a mountain to get through to the other side there. But it's all pushing you into the next phase into your life. But that's for those of you where you're you're kind of lingering in a situation that's, you know, maybe you're, you've been into it. I can't talk. Been in it for far too long. And you have shit to do. <laughs> Okay, your soul has shit to do somewhere else. And, you know, maybe kind of losing patience. It's like, okay, time to get the ball rolling here. You know, for some, I keep looking at that June. Something here happened to somebody where, you know, maybe it was a tower moment. Maybe things started falling apart. But try to keep the mindset of, you know, it's happening for you, not to you. It's, it's aligning you to where you're supposed to be. And I know it sucks hearing that because maybe right now you're going through hell and you're like, well, obviously the universe hates me. I don't want to hear all this lovey-dovey bullshit. Okay, I get it. But one day you're going to push through that and you're going to look back and be like, holy fuck, that was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, <laughs> because, and, but of course, the key here is grounding yourself, looking within, because this deconstruction of everything is an opportunity for you to have a clean slate. You know, the star comes after the tower. You know, it's everything falling apart and this whole new beginning happening for you. And it's up to you what you're going to do with that or what you will do with that. Or what you want to do with that. I don't know what I said. But, um... And if you do the work, if you figure out what it is you really want, if you figure out who you truly are, <laughs> what your soul is calling you to do, obviously this next chapter is going to be a lot smoother than probably the last chapter. You know, a lot smoother than this tower moment that you might be going through right now or possibly in the near future. Because I sense major changes happening to a lot of Pisces out there. You know, I don't know what it is. Again, ask an astrologer. <laughs> but um, things are shifting. Okay, so let's look at this arrogant person. Oh, I got two cards. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. This is somebody who maybe at some point made you feel like you had no power, but really you were the one with the power the whole time. So I'm getting almost bullying energy here. Somebody who may have bullied you into submission in some way. Somebody who may have bullied you into giving up on yourself, your hopes, dreams, your identity. 
So maybe even a, a codependent kind of situation where somebody like kind of overpowered you and expected you to follow them around like a little puppy for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? But that's a hell to the no. Yeah, you're going to cut that out <laughs> and you're going to find yourself and, and you're going to realize that this whole time you had the power. And you know, this could be a romantic situation, a friendship, a family member even. But it's time to take back your power. Know that you've had the power all along. Okay, so what is this success? Success. I feel like I said that weird. We have the two of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the lovers. Gemini energy. So this could be love coming in. We also have the nine of swords. And we have the nine of wands. One more. And we have the queen of pentacles. Earth sign energy. And I don't know, did I point this out? We have the two of wands here at the bottom. So again, that kind of in between. Not knowing what's up, not knowing what's down. <laughs> And that's why I keep going back to the very beginning message. It's time to reconnect with you because that's where the answer is. Okay. It's not in, you know, this toxic person. It's not in, you know, your neighbor next door. Only you know, your soul know, knows. And you have to take that time to reconnect with that. Okay. It's okay to be lost sometimes, but you know, sometimes being lost is... One of the greatest benefits that you could ever have in life because it forces you, it challenges you to reach parts of yourself that you never would have reached otherwise, okay? So use that to your advantage. So I feel like you're kind of forced into doing that and it's going to pay off big time if you're willing to do the work, not give up on yourself and not give in to these people who think that they have power over you. When you know what? Look at this person on this card. She has this, this bubble around her. She's protected. You're protected. No one can get to you. Okay. You just have to remember that, believe that, know it. And that's what's going to push you forward. Okay. Okay, so we also have the Page of Swords, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, we have the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups and that Chariot, it's almost like as soon as you walk away from something, and the, you walk away from like the you know, arrogant people, toxic situations, whatever. So the sooner you do that, the faster your growth will be. Okay. And again, this is also about choosing a path. Notice the white horse and the black horse. It represents, you know, which path are you going to take? That could also be why the lovers is here. It can also represent a choice, you know, also the two of pentacles. You know, again, very much crossroads energy here for you. What are you going to do with this, this shift, this opportunity? Whatever happened in June, <laughs> it started there. Hmm. This is, I feel like whoever I'm connecting with, this is very much like a very, like you're, I don't want to say you're, the rest of your life depends on this, but it kind of depends on this. Like, you know, what are you going to do? Are, like, picture yourself, like how you're living right now. Do you really see yourself 10 years from now being happy if you're still doing what you're doing now? Five years from now? One year from now? Like, sit down and ask yourself these things because it's time, okay? So, I'm going to leave this here. Um, it's time for you, yeah, to just reconnect with yourself because there is a higher, there's a higher purpose, destiny for you. And if you don't do this work, if you don't like face these obstacles yourself and cut these things out of your life or these people out of your life, like I said, some of you could be facing a tower moment, whether you want that or not. And it kind of reminds me of my last, or not my last Pisces reading, but the one before that. So it's in the energy still for a reason. 
and probably because of, you know, that juicy energy that's in Pisces' favor. <laughs> the message is to take advantage of that as much as you can because it's going to propel you forward, probably in ways that you would never expect. You know, new home, new attitude. You know, I said this in one of my recent readings too, like a year from now, if you do this work, you could look back and be like, damn, I feel like a completely different person. My life has changed in so many ways. But it all starts with you, you realizing your power, you realizing what you're capable of, okay? You realizing who you are and what you want and actually going for it, okay? And not letting anybody hold you back, okay? So, or fears, even yourself. Don't let yourself hold, your, uh, hold yourself back. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I already said that, but I'm saying it a second time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if this resonated, leave some banana emojis in the comments below, even or if you just enjoyed it, uh, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.